Hi friend, it's Peter Minter from positivemusic.com.au. Today I wanted to help you learn a few rhythms that can help support the drum circle. So of course the drum circle is all about um, improvisation, playing in the moment music. So playing what you feel on your drum or any other percussion instrument within the circle. So at the beginning of a drum circle, there may be some participants who have never played a drum before or haven't played uh, drums together and are struggling a little bit to improvise. They're not quite sure what to play or how to play. So in some cases, it does take a little bit of time for people to find that rhythm. So there are lots of rhythms that can be played to help support the drum circle. So if we're playing a nice strong steady beat that will help the drum circle, the participants within the circle to find where that rhythm is. So now let's look at a, a beautiful a common rhythm, a universal rhythm that's in 4-4 that will help support any drum circle or any percussion ensemble. Let's go and check it out and get that drum circle grooving. So for the supporting role, I'm going to be playing these three drums and create a beautiful little melodic rhythm uh, amongst uh, these three drums. And the three drums uh, represent the low pitch of the uh, drum, drum circle. And so I view the uh, low pitch drums as the supporting role of the uh, drum ensemble. Um, I always like to revert back to uh, the low pitch drum is kind of like the grandmother of the uh, drum circle. So of course the grandmother represents in a community wisdom and supportive and nurturing. So our left hand is going to be playing the small drum. And we've got three drums, so the small, medium and low pitch drum. And the rhythm of the um, high pitch drum is the tempo of the rhythm of the rhythm. This is what it sounds like. So I'll count you in, one, two, three, four. So it just remains that constant, that beautiful constant rhythm. And it helps to um, keep everyone in time uh, within the drum circle. So if people are feeling a bit shaky, um, then the, uh, the high pitch drum will help um, solidify where that time is. And what I also like to do is add a shekere on my foot, as you can hear. Um, and so I like to add that in because amongst all the drums, if you add a high pitch sound, a, a percussive sound like a, a tambourine or a shekere, uh, then it's going to um, really cut through. And so now let's add in the right hand. And the right hand is, is basically playing the, the heartbeat. Um, so of course there's um, layering rhythms here. So they're going to land and not land together with your hands. Okay, so as I said, left hand playing a small drum, right hand playing the large drum. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so of course we've got this other beautiful drum sitting over here wanting to be played, wanting to be included in the rhythm. So I'm going to add my right hand. It's going to be playing between um, the low and the medium pitch. And as I said, my left stays just on the small drum. And this time I'm going to add in the shaker. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So there's so many variations that you can play uh, just to keep it a little bit more interesting and also to maybe to work out an arrangement as well. Like I said, to keep it interesting. But being a drum circle, it's going to be really interesting anyway. So let's play this a little bit quicker. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
Okay, so for a bonus a rhythm uh, I wanted to show you, I'm going to add in, still playing the same drums, your left hand is going to be playing the same rhythm, so playing that constant uh, tempo. But our left hand, sorry, our right hand is going to be playing the clave. And so the clave, I explain this in my, uh, in my book, both books, Energize Your Life with Rhythm, Music and Sound, and plus my djembe drumming book, that free djembe drumming book. And so the, the clave is king, king, ka, cha, cha, king, king, ka, cha, cha, king, king, ka, cha, cha, king, king, ka, cha, cha. And we're going to play that rhythm between the medium drum and the large drum. But we're going to add in an extra note on the, on the low drum. It sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now let's add in the left hand, playing that constant rhythm. I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. So this clave rhythm is such a beautiful rhythm to play that it will complement a lot of 4-4 four, four rhythms that are played in the drum circle. Universal rhythms. So now let's play this a little bit quicker. One, two, three, four. Let's play the first rhythm with a backing track. Now let's play the second rhythm, the clave rhythm, with a backing track. So remember, if you're drumming, if you're a drummer or you're a facilitator or a teacher, get out there, start exploring, experimenting with music. Be really curious about all the kinds of drums that you can play. There is so much fun to have um, with stick drums like these drums or hand drums, djembes, uh, congas, tubanos. Um, anything you can get your hands on, even percussion instruments, shaker sounds, wood sounds, bell sounds, um, and get out there in your community and start having some fun. Share your rhythmical spirit. That's what drumming's all about. Now, a little gift from me to you. I wanted to help you out as much as I can. I've added some great hand drum and stick drum rhythms in my ebook called Seven Easy Steps to Develop Rhythm, Technique, Timing and Feel. It's filled with lots of rhythms and musical tips for beginners and intermediates to help you take your playing to the next level. This is my gift to you and a wonderful resource that can accompany on your rhythmical journey. So you can grab your copy absolutely free just go to positivemusic.com.au forward slash free djembe drumming and download it right there and then. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the videos. I'll see you on the next video and take care.